Hi, it's Mark, and we're at Valeria's place, which is doing a refurb. We'll just look up there. It's a, it's a Victorian, or, or it might even be Georgian because we've got square bays on it. And this is quite a big one because it's on one, one, two, three floors. Let's have a walk inside. We've got a bit of a mess in the garden because we've just started it, uh, stripping out and stuff. We're going to go on the gate. The gate's blooming solid. Look at that gate, it's fantastic. Good old metal gate with metal hinges. You can't beat that, superb. And the wall's new at the front, it's gorgeous. Absolutely wonderful. And if we're walking in, uh, the front door, good old wooden, wooden front door. It doesn't matter, it doesn't look good yet. It will do when it's finished, of course. We've got a vestibule like these houses often have. And then if we walk in the front room, the stairs are just at the front of us. Walk in the front room, we've got a massive front room. Now Valeria started this job, so it's already been sprayed. And we can see it's a huge room, all in white. That's just ready to do. It's blooming marvellous, blooming brilliant. And Valeria's behind me on the camera. You don't want to see us, do you? So Valeria's behind me on the on the camera, walking around with me. There's the stairs. We'll just go up there. We've got this archway, which you might be able to see in a second. We've got an archway just there. Absolutely wonderful. That's all original features. And the stairs, what she's done is strip down the, the staircase. In the 60s or 70s, I can't remember what decade it was, but we'd actually put covers on these blooming banisters. I don't know why we did it, to be fair. But anyway, they're, they're, it's now the trend to take them off and not have a solid staircase. Out the back, we've got the dining room, and the dining room is absolutely fab. And then I'll show you the garden in a second when we go out. That's a great dining room. That's a, again, that's been sprayed. No carpet down yet. Of course, you'll decorate the fireplaces and make them look good. It's had a rewire. You see by the switches. They're modern switches, that's pretty good. Now this door is on the right way round, you can see the hinges are on this side, so the door opens against the wall. And on these type of houses, sometimes the door's on the wrong way around, so I'm sure there'll be a couple of those. Now this is an odd one. I've not got this on any of my houses, but my houses are smaller than this. This has got a cellar. Now what we're doing with the cellar is, um, the doors go in there to block it off. In fact, I can't see my hand there. The doors go in there to block it off. And then this, and then the door on the front here, which you can't quite see, I'll come back a little bit. The door there, so this becomes a cloak room or a cupboard. And then we've got a cloak rack, and then we've got coats and Wellington boots and stuff and all that on there. So that kind of disguises the fact it's got a cellar, because we don't want to revamp the cellar. I'll take you down there, but it's all dark and stuff and you won't be able to see it. So we'll go round. There's the kitchen. I'll just go outside this back door. The back door's here, and this house has got an alleyway uh, between the houses, which is just there. Nothing happening with that. A lot of people do paint them white uh, and then put a very long strip light in the in the top of them that's on a sensor to come on. But I mean, there's no need to do that for this particular job. We've got concrete posts, we've got decent fence panels, and we've got this massive garden. So what Valeria's doing here, I'll go over there. There's another back door. We've got two back doors on this one. So we've got to repair this back door and then on this one, we've got an outside loo, which Valeria's job is to make pretty because that's a disgracefully horrible looking outside loo, which was the norm uh, when these houses were built. Uh, massive black gardens, that needs zoning because that's too big for a family effectively. So I'm just going to walk down this path. Gravel going down here, look, 20 mil golden gravel on there just to make it look tidy. We don't need to pull it all up because it'll, that concrete's quite thick, so we don't need to take it all down. Uh, we've got two plum trees in the back garden. They're actually quite attractive, so they stay. The fence panels, they're painting the same colour, so they're not, the, they're not different colours, or the screen ones do. And then this central path stays, because it's a, again, this is an incredibly thick path, so we don't need to take that, that up. Vegetable patch going there, because we don't want to take the wall out or anything, or you know all of that stuff out. So we'll leave it out there. And then what Valeria's doing is putting two panels across here, and I'll do it on that side as well. Two panels across there, to, to actually zone out the garden, because actually the garden's far too long. It's about 80 foot long, this garden, or 90 foot long. So it's far too long and thin. And this area, for the sale, this area can stay as it is. It's cleared out, it's tidy uh, enough, so it can just stay as it is. So what I'll do is I'll take you into the uh, kitchen downstairs. 